Hi, I am Dr. Sridhar Kalyana Sundaram. Welcome to my channel. So, this is a quick video aimed at parents as well. And uh, here I am going to discuss about whether we should be worried about breast engorgement in the baby. It's also called as neonatal breast enlargement in medical terms, neonatal mastitis. So, as you can see in these images, uh, you have the breast nodule which is prominent. Uh, it's not red, it's not inflamed, but it does look prominent and parents are often concerned about this. It's a common concern which starts in the first three to five days. It can increase in size, it can become quite significant uh, like I showed you here, quite bulky and uh, it reduces in size by three to four weeks and then it resolves. Uh, even spontaneously some milk-like discharge is possible. This is mainly because of the mother's hormones which go across to the baby and as a withdrawal effect sometimes you get mastitis. Uh, it's called mastitis but in general terms it's only the swelling of the breast tissue. There is no active inflammation going on. Don't squeeze. There is a risk of introducing infection. So what we can do is to just keep calm and monitor. Do not touch it, do not squeeze it and if anyone is coming to help you with the baby's care, please remember to tell them also not to squeeze it. Most common complication is infection and that happens from our uh, handling it. The hormones go across to boys and girls and the breast tissue is there in boys and girls. The reason girls get the breast enlargement after puberty is because of their hormonal changes. The boys have testosterone and they don't progress to develop the breast enlargement after puberty. However, the breast tissue can react to the estrogens in boys as well. So this can happen in both boys and girls. There is no risk of any future problems if you notice this. And it doesn't need any treatment. It's not painful and it goes away on its own. The main precaution is if there is increasing redness. For example, if someone has actually squeezed it and introduced infection, you may start getting red area around it. This might mean inflammation. The baby might have pain related to the inflammation and obviously uh, staphylococcal infection is a common complication from introduction from the skin. So we may need antibiotic treatment and uh, even pus formation is a possibility if it gets infected. So the main thing is to be aware not to handle it from the beginning. It's very important that you share this information with any relatives who are expecting new babies so they're prepared for it and they don't end up in trouble as a secondary infection. If there is any concern of infection, you should see your doctor because in babies, infection doesn't stay localized. It can become a septicemic process, which means it spreads in the bloodstream. It can spread to the brain, it can spread to the other organs and it's quite life-threatening if it spreads. So we should pick it up and treat it early. So the main message here do not worry if there is a swelling in the breast area. Do not touch it. Do not squeeze it. Uh, majority of the cases do not get any infection. It's not related to infection. It's due to the hormones. However, if you have handled it or if you notice the redness increasing, same as umbilical infection. So if you notice any redness spreading, it's very important that we pick it up and treat early. This is a simple message, but it's very important. I hope uh, you'd be able to share this information. Thank you.